start. Okay, very good morning, class. Good morning, sir. We are here to discuss today the topic of shear force and bending moment. In this topic, what we are going to discuss that how the shearing force and bending moment occur in a beam. Let us take a case in which there are two types of load. First is the uniformly distributed load and second is the point load which is acting on the beam in the vertical direction. Let us assume that this UDL is acting on the beam and applying a hogging force that is making the beam to move downwards. Similarly for the case of the your uh, point load in which the beam is moving, uh, allowing the beam to move downward. First of all, this question has to be calculated in three steps. The foremost is to calculate the reaction forces. In the reaction forces, we see that how much force is acting on the two ends. Okay, this is RA, this is RB. First of all, just see that RE plus RB is equal to sum of forces because the beam is uniform. So, we have taken RA plus RB is sum of 4 kilo newton, 1 kilo newton plus this is UDL, 2 kilo newton per meter. We need to calculate, uh, make it into force. That is 2 kilo newton per meter divided into 2 meter is the distance. So, now it is force which is 2 kilo newton. 4, 2 into 2 plus 1, 1 into 1. Here will be only 1. So, now we come to a result that is RA and RB is 9 kilo newtons. Second thing, now we need to calculate the movement along A direction. Either you can calculate along B also, it is your choice. So, when we take all the forces we have to multiply it with this direction. So, RB into this distance is 6. Now, it is making a anti-clockwise direction movement. We will assume throughout the B that anti-clockwise direction for the movement is always positive. So, this is RB into 6 is positive. We always assume that the force which is acting upward is making a clockwise direction along A. So we will take this negative. So when it goes to the other direction, it will become positive. So now, 4 into 5, 2 into 2, from half of the distance up to this distance. That is 2 into 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is 2 into 2 into 3 and next is 1 into 1. So the movement along A direction will be uh, your this one that is 33 kilo newton meter. So we divide by 6 and get the resultant of RB and RA which is coming out to be 5.5 and 3.5. Now, this is the first step which is completed for calculating of shearing force and bending movement that you need to calculate the value of RA and RB. In step 2, we found that what is individual shearing force acting on the beam at single point. Second is individual movement acting on the beam at single point. So, starting with the calculation of the reaction forces at the each point on the beam, we know that RB is the RB is the value of the reaction force. We have already calculated RB as 5.5, so we directly write down positive 5.5. Next is RF, this point. This is upward direction positive, this is downward direction negative. So, 5.5 minus 4, that is 1.5. In this you have to write also during the uh, starting of your quotient, 
that you are assuming the force for upward negative and force which is coming downward is negative and the force which is moving upward is positive. This you have assumed in the starting. Also, for the bending movement, the movement which is clockwise you have taken as negative, the movement which is anti clockwise you have taken positive. Now, RF you have calculated come to RE, which will be also same because there is no addition and subtraction of forces at this point. Come to RB, positive RB, negative 4, negative 2 into 2, negative 2 into 2, that is minus 2. Clear? Next. RC, in RC, you can clearly see all the reaction forces from the backward will be same. Just we need to subtract one. That is 2.5 minus 1, 3.5. And RA, you can calculate from back. That is positive of RB minus 4 minus 2 into 2 minus 1. You get minus 3.5. Now, you will say that when we were calculating this value, RA was positive and now it is negative. The answer to this is, we are taking the beam up to here. We assume all these things, these things for this direction. But that RA point has been moved to the other end of the beam, which is coming out to be negative. So let us clarify this thing more through a diagram. 5.5 was the first value. Second value is again 5.5 because up to here was 5.5 only. Then there is a reduction of 4 kilo. Similarly, R E point is 1.5 and again at R D was 2.5. So this point is called as point of contraflation. What is point of contraflation? Where the shearing force changes its direction from positive to negative or from negative to positive. Next is this point. This point you have already calculated 2.5 so I mentioned minus. I will just write 2.5 and minus in this direction because it is below the uh, in the y in the y direction negative y direction. So next is 3.5 this is also 3.5. So this we are complete with step 2. Here we were complete with step 1. This is we are completed with step 2. Let us shift to step 3 now. That is calculating of the bending moments. What is bending moment? It is simply force into distance. In the force into distance, you know at every point where you want to calculate the force, you just need to mention the what is the value of the distance at that point you can easily calculate the moment. So, this point B distance is 0. MB is R V into 0. MF for calculating MF RB into 1. So, minus 4 into 0, the value is positive 5.5. Why it is positive? Because when it will move in this direction, it is anti-clockwise and you have proved that earlier assume clockwise anti-clockwise is positive. M E this point M B into 2 positive M F into 1 negative. Clear? M B M B into this distance 4 positive M C into this distance 3 negative 2 into this distance 2 into 2 and from center up to here is 1 so 2 into 2 into 1 2 into 2 into 1 next step M C R E into this distance positive R F into this distance 2 into this distance and distance from here up to here that is 2 this is the equation. Answer is 3.3 positive. You can ask if you are having any doubt somewhere.
clear m a r b into this distance positive or negative positive positive why positive because it is which direction anticlockwise yes anticlockwise 4 into this distance 2 into this distance to make a force then from center up to here movement then 1 into this distance so you will come to know that at point a your movement will be zero that means your answer is correct unless it is an overhand beam that means overhand matlab yahan par bhi aapki koi force hai if it is not force a is the end then at a or b your movement will be zero because at that point the uh, beam is having a fixed point on the beam that is the two point node are acting at the ends so that at that point there cannot be any deflection so now the next step uh, you have calculated ra and rb step 1 you have calculated shearing force step 2 third is your you how to calculate your bending moments at each point step 3 is complete now let us say that how you can calculate your uh, how you can calculate uh, how you can draw your uh, bending moment diagram let us see in the bending moment diagram simply you will follow your values first is 0 second is 5.5 next is 7 next is 6 3.3 and 0 all in positive direction remember one thing you must have observed a bit of curve over here but here is a straight line what is why it is so because in the case of shearing force we are having the equation of y is equal to mx plus c is followed and x is having an exponent of 1 so we can say it is a linear line in this case you can clearly see if i cut the section over here in the distance x the moment will be m say this point is x mx will be rv into x positive minus rf into x minus 1 minus this point uh, this uh, 2 into x minus 1 into x minus 1 by 2 Uh, sorry, this x minus two, x minus two by two. This distance. So this is square x minus two whole square. This is the equation of a parabola. So at that time we go on curve in this case. And in this case we are having a straight line. You cannot draw a straight line over here. So this was a question containing the case of point load and. Point load and uniformly distributed load. There are more cases. For example, only point loads acting at some angle. First case. Second is only point loads acting vertically onto the beam. Third case, only uniformly distributed load over the whole beam. Next case may be the overhand beam. Uh, that is the out of A and B. there must be some more forces and the extension of the beam and there may be the case of uniformly variable load that is the load may be acting in some triangular direction there may be the case of uh, when you are having a cantilever beam that is one end is fixed and other is free and there may be number of loads acting on this so these are there are more certain number of cases which can be covered under this chapter that is shearing force and bending moment so this was all about this topic of calculation of shearing force and bending moment using point load and a uniformly distributed load thank you